All right, so today I'm working on the Predator apron. Figured the top half of the coop is pretty well secured. I have everything locked in, screwed down. Nothing can climb up and over. Nothing can climb through or in. Well, within reason, right? I mean, a bear could probably push right through this hardware cloth. Um, but hopefully we don't get any of those like raccoons, skunks, whatever else, I think the girls are pretty safe. The only place they're not safe is if they tunnel under this small four by four that's pretty much just laying on the ground. Um, it's buried in some places just to make it level. Other than that, I don't know how long it would take a fox or something to tunnel under. So what I'm doing today is I'm gonna put down um, a predator apron. And basically all that is is some garden fence and I have the uh, the green vinyl coated one so that way it won't rust and I have some stakes to nail it down with and I actually have it in the grass now uh, going all the way down uh, step one is I bent it and I tacked it stapled it actually all the way down put a little bend in the wire put it all the way down next step is I'm going to take these boards here that I pre-drilled holes and then I put screws in them. So what I'm gonna do is put those boards along where the bend is and the wire and where I use the staples um, for extra security, just in case they get in there and uh, they start digging and the wire starts popping there. So at least this way the wood will press the wire up against the coop, up against the run uh, at, for an added layer of protection. And then once I do that, what I'll do is I'll go through, put the stakes in the um, fencing, in the predator apron, and that should pretty much hold it down uh, pretty tight to the ground. And the grass will grow through that and I will be able to mow over it. All right, so went back, I pre-drilled three more of those one by ones and I put screws in them, put them close again, just to, you know, put a lot of pressure between the wood and the wire, kind of to squeeze it together. So over here in the front, I um, cut the one piece of wire to size. I went through and I bent it up. Um, let me see if I could show you that better. Yeah. so. Kind of bent it in a 45. Next step is I'm going to use my staple gun and staple that to the coop. All right, so you can see I stapled the top wire and I stapled the wire running down as well. So put in a lot of staples there all the way across the front. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow up with the board to really, really cinch up that wire um, against the run. That way, you know, they won't be able to pull the wire out from just the staples. And you can see here, it's the closer together, I think it's one inch. And then as it goes out further, I think it goes to three inches. But you can see all I basically did was push them in. I'm gonna go around and hammer them down um, you can see I kind of put them on the double so that it'll be supportive. And then I put a few in the middle um, just so when the mower goes over it, it won't vacuum up the middle. I think once the grass starts growing, this will get pretty matted down. Um, so I don't think I really have to worry. So I went all the way around this end here. Got this in. Um, you can see I pinned... A bunch of it down already so I was able to go all the way around here with some pins and then I ran out uh, but I'm taking it all the way down to the end and then around the back I'm gonna make sure that I apron the whole side all four sides of the coop in the run so that's pretty much what the 
predator apron in is. So once it grows in, you won't really see it. I put it down earlier um, just to see what it was like, and the grass started growing. Once the grass started growing, you couldn't see it at all. And I actually pushed my push mower over it and didn't budge. So I think that's going to be a win. All right, any questions or comments, you know, please leave on the video down below. I'd enjoy hearing any questions that you have, any comments that you have. All right, thanks for watching.